Let's calculate the multiplication of polynomials we see on the screen. By definition, the product of polynomials is just applying the distributive property, that is, multiplicating this first monomial times the second polynomial, the second monomial times the second polynomial, and the third monomial times the second polynomial. And if we go on applying the distributive property, that would be the first monomial times all of the monomials of the second polynomial and the same with the rest of the monomials so we would have minus x square times 2x square let's do it down here so we would have minus times plus that's a minus sign the coefficient would be a 2, as that is minus 1 times 2, that is minus 2. And now, let's multiply the, part, the, the monomial, the x, that is x squared times x squared, x to the fourth. So we will have minus 2x to the fourth. Now we will have minus x squared times minus 3, that is equal to plus, as there's two minus signs, 3 times x squared is 3x squared. We're done with the first monomial. Let's go with the second one, 5x. 5x times 2x squared would be 5 times 2 is 10, and x times x squared it is x to the third. So this would be 10 times x to the x cube and now 5x times minus 3 that is minus 15x let's go with the third monomial minus 1 minus 1 times 2x square that is minus 2x square and now minus 1 times minus 3 it's plus 3 now let's operate this polynomial so we can make it easier to see as there's no x to the fourth apart from the minus 2x to the fourth let's write here minus 2x to the fourth we just have 1 with x cubed, that is plus 10x cubed. Now we have 2 with x squared, so let's add them, that is plus 3x squared minus 2x squared, plus, that would be yes, plus x squared, and now we have uh, minus 15x with the x, and the independent term would be yes, the 3. So, as we can see, this would be the result of calculating the multiplication between the products that appeared on the screen.